Good morning, my name is Ryan Littlestone from ForexFlow.live. Here we go into another explosive week already. Uh, obviously Brexit taking the, the main headlines here, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, what I'm going to do is just follow up on a, a couple of trades that we were looking at last week and have been looking at for quite a while. Um, the first of which is the euro versus the dollar and the break of the 120 level. Um, this is something I've been highlighting for a long while. We had a big level here at 120. Last week we broke it. And what we got was the, the perfect break scenario, if you like, where the, the price accelerated up through and we saw that accelerate through to uh, through 121. Um, so looking at the weekly chart, what I highlighted last week was that we had some big fib levels coming into play now. And uh, we pretty much hit one of those right, uh, hit the nail on the head, as we like to say. Um, and that was the fib from the uh, 2013 drop down um, around that, 121, uh, 67, 70 area. And that's marked the high of this pair. That's marked the, the push through. Um, now, what I did is I had buy stops uh, sitting at 120.15 for, for several months, really, from the, the last time we tested that area. And so what I was looking for is exactly what happened. We got the break and we got a big push through and you know it went another big figure pretty much instantly. There was, there was no stopping it. But then we hit this fib level and that's where we've seen the price pull up and we've come back down. And even this morning, we're back down through 121. Um, just at the moment, we've been down to 120.80 odd at the moment. Um, now that's probably a, a, a natural reflection of this pair. Um, what's happened to me is that I was slicing my trade all the way up um, and now I've just been tripped on my trading stop at 120.90. I've just had it below the 121 big figure. So now we're going to see that the, the pair start to define what it's going to do now. Um, is it going to mark this 121.70s area as a, as a major top? And then we see the downside develop. That could mean a push down to the 120 area, which will again be the key level to watch to see whether we're now going to develop a shorter term range. That's what we need to look at for this pair. Just a, a bit of a, a gauge now, just finding out what the price wants to do. As I sit here now, it's back above 121 at 121.06. So we're in that bit of indecision now. So we're going to watch these highs up for the 121.70s. And we're going to watch this 120.70.80 area now just to see how it develops and what happens after that. Now, another break trade I was looking at uh, last week was the Aussie dollar. And this was up against the, the big uh, 74 area where we'd seen it make a, a decent top, uh, you know, back in August, September. And we had another little test uh, and then again, we finally seen a break. But this time the break hasn't really pushed on. Um, this was another one I traded with, a, with buy stops. I had buy stops at 74.15 at 74.20. I managed to take some off at uh, 74.44, just ahead of that 45.50 zone that I marked up. Um, and that in fact has marked the top and we've been back below and I've been stopped on the balance of that um, as it came back through the 74 level. So a bit more indecision on this break. We didn't get the blow through like we saw in the Aussie dollar. That's the nature of breaks. And that's the nature of trading breaks. That sometimes you do get a big follow through. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get a little follow through and, and then it comes back at you again. So again, we're back to an indecision mode with this pair. Uh, is it gonna go back above 74 and push on again? Or have we seen another top formed and now we're gonna see some short-term range develop? So that's one there, another one to watch there. Um, and of course, we can't uh, talk about anything this week without speaking about Brexit. And we've seen some massive negative headlines coming in now. The market has been leaning towards a deal being done for the last uh, three, four weeks, perhaps. Um, and now we're seeing that really washing out as the headlines become more negative, that a deal may not be possible. Personally, I still think a deal was on the cards, but whether it's a full-on deal or a, a light deal, as, as some are calling it, that remains to be seen. But for now, lots of volatility today in the pound. Um, pretty much you can define it 135, 130 at the moment. That's that's the wide area to look at. In between there, probably best to, to stick to the big figures. The short-term tech levels aren't really going to play a part. It's going to be up and down today. So a lot of caution needed. So as always, good luck this week uh, and all the best for your trading.